that calls itself Dankwabuzia tradition and also calling itself uh, UP, an offshoot of the UP. In fact, when you go to Ashante and then Bono and Ahafo, all they know about MPP is a UP, UP, and UP is a United Party. Now, the Asante Himi actually founded the National Liberation Movement in 1954 through Bafo Akutu, because among the Akans, whatever a linguist does directly binds the chief. And so for the linguists of the Ashanti nation to rise up one day on the premises of Menshia Palace, with all Ashanti chiefs behind him, a, chief, a, 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 a sheep slaughtered, and this man proclaiming the formation of a new party, National Liberation Movement, was Ashanti Hines party, Oseyajiman Prempe II, and the party of the Ashanti nation. No wonder, at that time, Ashanti was the leading producer region of cocoa. And they saw Nkrumah, who had become prime minister in 1954, his whole idea was centralism, unitary form of government. And we use Ashanti's cocoa money to develop the rest of Ghana. Ashanti would not accept that. This Ashanti would not FM. accept that. So the main reason for the formation of NLM was to fight for a federal system of government to ensure that whatever money generated on Ashanti land will remain there to hell with other regions. Now today, as we sit here, Ashanti is not the leading cocoa producer region. So what are we telling regions like uh, Western North region and others? And then Western region, which is contributing over 80% to the GDP. If everybody is to behave the way my grandfathers did in 1954. Now come 1957, Nkrumah moved the whole nation to support the idea that no party will be allowed to operate on tribal grounds. And so the Northern People's Party, which was agitating to move away from the Gold Coast because they had received very little development and education and would not want to join us in independence. And then our youth organization, led by SG Antor, that they would want to go and join Togo, aligned, in fact, merged with the National Liberation Movement, Bafo Akuto. So you see that three tribalistic parties coming together to form the United Party to contest the Convention People's Party. From that moment, we began to have the United Party tradition. And Professor Buzia, because of his high education, was made the leader. So today, when we are talking about Danko Buzia tradition, please, it is a very big error in the history of this country. It should rather be uh, Akoto, uh, uh, SG, SB Dombo. Dombo was the leader of the Northern People's Party. And then Anto. S.G. Anto. That should be the name of the tradition. Number two, if you are celebrating Bafo Akuto, you should also celebrate the other two because we all know that uh, Agre, Fraser, and Gorgesberg were the three men that promoted girl-child education in Ghana through the establishment of Achimbote School. And we have Agre, Fraser, Gorgesberg Memorial Lectures. There's no way you can leave out one or two of this and you can build a complete story. We have to uh, 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 deify the three of them. So if you are talking about Bafo Akutu, whether it is a nation celebrating it or Ashanti celebrating it, please, history must not be obliterated. We must do it the right way. And also, MPP members should know that we don't have anything called Dankwabuzia tradition because MPP is not the offshoot of the UGCC. The UGCC by 1950, after 1950, I had collapsed, and even his vice president, uh, J.B. Dankwa, lost in an election at his own Bwakwa constituency to Alaji Bashiru Kwaoswanze. After that, the, uh, everybody discarded him, and then ba Ashantis founded the National Liberation Movement. Then lastly, I will say that if we are going back to people like Bafwa Kuto, Anto, S.B. Dumbo, who are sectional in their approach, then at least we must get something good there, that if they fought for 
the interests of their people. What we are telling government today is that whatever funds, whatever money, whatever income or so, uh, resources the nation is generating today from the various regions, efforts must be made to retain a percentage over there because the Ashanti fight for federation at that time was to some extent genuine because Nkrumah said that he was using the cocoa money to fund free education for the northerners to put up more secondary schools in Ghana, that's the GET schools. It was a good idea on the part of Nkrumah. It was also a good idea on the part of Ashanti that whatever is coming from our land, we must also get a percentage. In much the same way, the Ga people have dedicated their whole land to the making of a national capital. Look at the roads in Accra and then go to Osu and Nima in certain parts of Accra. I mean, can't government just sit up one day and decide to do something for people whose land has become the national capital and they have nowhere to stay? Always we are pushing them away. Talk about Western region, that is contributing nearly 90% to the GDP. Talk about Central region. The whole GOKO started from Central region. Then they're not. The cocoa industry we are talking about was able to thrive because of the labor of the northerners. We should not forget this. Every region, whatever you produce, a little portion of it should be retained there for your own development. You don't bring it here, and at the end of the day, as my colleague was saying, and we are all lamenting, you know, some people dissipated somewhere. And the whole nation is also aware that when you go to Achimabuaka, all their roads have been asphalted. And then you ask yourself, what is Achimabuaka producing as opposed to in Zimmerland that is producing oil for Ghana? Thank you. Thank you, too. Sit down. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what do we say to uh, lawyer Yao Anochi Frimpong? Yes, we thank you. We appreciate you and God bless you. We appreciate you. Now, he made some very interesting remarks. And I would like us to recap some of these interesting things he said. Listen with rapt attention. Students. No wonder at that time, Ashanti was the leading producer region of cocoa. And they saw Nkrumah, who had become prime minister in 1954, his whole idea was centralism, unitary form of government. And we use Ashanti's cocoa money to develop the rest of Ghana. Ashanti would not accept that. Ashanti would never accept that. Ashanti, who was the biggest producer of cocoa, and Nkrumah wanted to use this to be able to support the whole of Ghana. But Ashanti would not allow that. Put that into record. Now, another thing our professor said in class today. Listen. So, Listen attentively. So the main reason for the formation of NLM was to fight for a federal system of government to ensure that whatever money generated on Ashanti land will remain there to hell with other regions. Now, today, as we sit here, Ashanti is not the leading cocoa producer region. So what are we telling regions like uh, Western North region and others? So that is very clear. Today, Ashanti is not the biggest producer of cocoa. It's the Western region and beyond. What are we telling them? Would we still use their money to support the rest of Ghana and Ashanti inclusive? So we have come from far. Now, the formation of the NLM in 1954 was all about tribalism. As our professor said, tribalistic parties came together. SD Anto and the rest of them. SD Dombu was also part of it. And in front of the Manshia Palace, he founded the NLM, slaughtered a sheep and made sure that it came into action. He said another thing that is deserving of attention, and I need you to open your ears and listen. Listen. Now, come 1957, Nkrumah moved the whole nation to support the idea that no party would be allowed to operate on tribal grounds. And so the Northern People's Party, which was agitating to move away from the Gold Coast because they had received very little development and education, and would not want to join us in independence. And then our youth 
organization led by SG Anto that they would want to go and join Togo, aligned, in fact, merged with the National Liberation Movement, Bafo Akuto. So you see that three tribalistic parties coming together to form the United Party. Did you hear that? Three tribalistic parties came together. The Anglo Youth, led by SD Anto, and the Northern People's Party, led by SD Dombo. They came together to join with the NLM. And Nkrumah said, no party will run on tribal grounds. That is not right. And Nkrumah banned that. Finally, this is what we need to remember from our lecture today. So today, when we are talking about Danko Buzia tradition, please, it is a very big error in the history of this country. It should rather be uh, Akoto, uh, uh, SG, SB Dombo. Dombo was the leader of the Northern People's Party. Mm -hmm. And then Anto, SG Anto. That should be the name of the tradition. Number two, if you are celebrating Bafo Akoto, you should also celebrate the other two. Because we all know that uh, Agre, Fraser, and Gorgesberg were the three men that promoted girl child education in Ghana through the establishment of Achimote School. And we have Agri Fraser Goggins by Memorial Lectures. There's no way you can leave out one or two of this and you can build a complete story. Well, we heard that clearly. In some circles, they celebrated all of them. But in this one, they erroneously would call it the Dankwabuzia when there was nothing like that. It should rather be uh, Bafua Koto, SD Anto, and SD Dombo. My brother, my sister, that is very powerful. This is the African history class. And today we went all the way to Ashanti. In the African history class and in the bedding of knowledge, I ask you now that you know what to do, do be an any or lay a mini of our fair and Zunda Kakane Mezaka Yine, Yapa Bango Bokaya Nunfi Fia and Yanukaina war, Banae, who are better than Lele and Jima Singer Bekune, Lele and Jima Singer Berry. It's been the African history class. The Emperor, the Conqueror, the Champion, the Lion is here. Zobu, 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 Zob